Yeah, so it's time for part two in our series about uh, Alan Holdsworth's chord patterns. And uh, as in part one, we are going to use these patterns in a 2 5 one context. As I said in part one, don't stretch yourself to death. Uh, if there is any chords that are too hard, just skip them. So the first example here is from uh, the tune Free Sheets of the Wind. And uh, it sounds like this. Yeah, um, this is just a major seven chord. So in a two five one context, it can sound something like this. The next chord shape is from the same tune, and uh, yeah, it looks like this. And of course, uh, yeah, you might see this as a minor add nine chord. But uh, in this case, we will use it as a C major 13th, uh, a rootless C major 13th chord. So in a 2 5 one context, it can sound something like this. So in the next example, we have this uh, shape that uh, is from the tune White Line. Yeah, nice. And it's... For our 5 chord, it's G uh, 14th with the 7th in the bass. So, in a 2 5 1 context, it can sound something like this. So, the next example is from the tune Things You See When You Haven't Got Your Gun. And as you could see, this shape uh, worked as our uh, D minor chord, our D minor 9 with a C in the bass, and it also worked uh, for our 1 chord, our C major chord. So it was a C major 7 with a G in the bass. The next chord pattern is from the tune Tolio, and uh, a little bit later on we're going to use an uh, old chord shape that we used in uh, part 1 from the tune Above and Below, but uh, let's look at the first chord pattern here. Yeah, it sounds a little bit like uh, F major 9 chord uh, without the 3rd, but we're going to use it as a D minor kind of sound. Yeah, so it's uh, D minor 11th with the F in the bass. The minor 4th in the bass. And a little bit later on, we're gonna use this old shape from above and below. Yeah, so in a 2 5 1 uh, kind of context, we have uh, this corporation. In the next example, we're going to look at yet another pattern from uh, the tune uh, Free Sheets of the Wind. And it looks like this. It's uh, kind of a stretch one. So. so, in a 2 5 1 kind of context, it can sound something like this. Okay, so now we're gonna leave these uh, major 2 5 one examples and uh, look at some minor 2 5 ones instead. So we have this um, uh, 
pattern. And uh, yeah, we had this pattern before in uh, Free Sheets of the Wind. But we used this uh, pattern for a major 13th. I said that we could use this also for a kind of minor uh, add uh, 9 kind of sound. Now we're going to use this pattern for a minor 7 flat 5 kind of shape. So this is going to be our D minor 11 flat 5 chord with the C in the bass. Yeah, the flat 7 bass. Yeah, so let's look at how you can use this in a minor 2 for 1 uh, context. In the next example, we're going to use this really nice shape from uh, the tune Home. Yeah, really nice shape, and uh, we're going to use it for our one chord, our one minor chord. And we're going to play this shape from uh, the minor third, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a C minor major seven, or yeah, C minor major ninth with a flat third in the bass. So in a minor 2 5 one context, it can sound something like this. Yeah, next chord shape is from the tune Mr. Burwell, and it's gonna be uh, for our 5 chord. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be a G7 with a flat 9. Nice. And uh, yeah, in a minor 2 5 1 kind of context, it sounds like this. Yeah, and as you may remember from the first video, uh, we had this shape. But uh, we're going to alter it a little bit. We're going to take this note. Yeah, uh, by doing this, we uh, actually can use this shape uh, for uh, all our chords in this progression. So this shape can uh, be a D minor 11th with a flat 5 in the bass. It can also be a G7 with a sharp 5 and a sharp and a flat 9 with a B in the bass. And it can also be a C minor 6 9 chord with a flat third in bass. So let's play this shape in a minor 2 5 context. Next shape is from the tune Downside Up. It's, uh, well, it's uh, F major 7 with the sharp 5. But we can use it as uh, our one minor chord. We are playing it from the minor third of the C minor. And then we get the C minor major 9 chord with the flat third in bass. So, in a minor 2 5 1 context, it can sound something like this. So the next pattern is from uh, the example tune Londonary Air, uh, which is from uh, the Alan Hosford book, uh, Melody Chords for Guitar. And uh, yeah, it's uh, this chord. We're going to use it as uh, uh, kind of C minor 7 kind of sound. So, in a minor 2 5 one context. The next shape is gonna be from the tune above and below, and it's a really cool shape. And we're gonna use this shape uh, for our one 
minor uh, chord. So it's a C minor major 11th with a G in the bass. The 15th bass. So let's uh, use this shape in a minor 2 5 context. In the next example, we have a chord pattern from uh, the tune Looking Glass, and it looks like this. Yeah, it's a minor 6 9 chord. Yeah, so let's use this pattern in the minor 2 5 1 context. So in our last example, we have two uh, shapes that are from uh, two different Alan tunes. And uh, yeah, the first one is this one. Yeah, I usually use this uh, as a pattern for uh, yeah minor add nine chords. But we're gonna use it as a substitution for our uh, Two chord, our two minus seven flat five chord. Uh, and this shape you see in the uh, tune Fred. A little bit later on, we're gonna get to this chord shape. And that is from uh, the tune. Texas. So in our last example, we're going to use these two patterns in a one two five one context. Yeah, don't forget to download the free PDF for this lesson and uh, yeah, subscribe and uh, maybe leave a comment or something like that.